Hello there, we are discussing geotechnical engineering soil structure today. I am Janil Mahendra Popad. Soil structure is a usually defined as the arrangement and state of aggregation of soil particles in a soil mass. In a broader sense, consideration of mineralogical composition, electrical properties, orientation, and shape of soil grains, nature and properties of soil water and the interaction of soil water with soil grains may be included in the soil structure which is typical for transported or sedimented soils. Structural composition of sedimented soils influence many of their important engineering properties such as permeability, compressibility and shear strength. Let us go further and see soil structure. Soil structure in very simple words we can define it like the arrangement and state of aggregation of soil particles in a soil mass is known as soil structure. Soil structures are of many types. Let us start with number one single grained structure. Basically, single grained structure is characteristic of coarse grained soil with a particle size greater than 0.02 mm. Moreover, gravitational forces predominate the surface forces and hence grain to grain contact results. When disposition of this soil occurs, the particles settle under gravitational forces and take an equilibrium position as shown in diagram. As shown in diagram. Here we can see that each particle is in contact with the surrounding of it. It is known as single grain structure. Next is honeycomb structure. This structure can occur in fine grain, sands and sills having diameter smaller than 0.02 mm and greater than 0.002 mm. When such grains settle under gravity, besides gravitational forces, the surface forces also play an important role. We should remember that the structure are so formed has high void ratio and they are capable of carrying relatively heavy loads without excessive volume change. The structure can be broken down by external disturbances though. One more thing, the grains coming in contact are held until miniature arches are formed bridging over relatively large void spacing like this in the figure and they are forming a honeycombing structure. You can also see in this picture the soil is honeycombed and the next is flocculated and dispersed structure. Let us first talk about flocculated structure and then we will go to dispersed structure. Flocculated structure is characteristic of fine grained soils such as clays. The clay particles have large surface area and therefore the electrical forces are important in such soils. The clay particles have a negative charge on the surface and a positive charge on the edges. Interparticle contact develops between the positively charged edges and the negatively charged faces. This results in a flocculated structure. Flocculated structure is formed when there is a net attractive forces between particles. Soils 
with a flocculated structure are light in weight, have a high void ratio and high water content. However, these soils are quite strong and can resist external forces because of a strong bond due to attraction between particles. The soils are sensitive enough to resist vibrations. We can also say that flocculated structure will have a soil with low compressibility and high permeability as well as high shear strength. Dispersed structure. Dispersed structure develops in clays that have been remolded. The particles develop more or less parallel orientation. Clay deposits with a flocculated structure when transported to other places by nature or men get remolded. Remolding converts the edge to face orientation to face to face orientation. So we can say that the dispersed structure is formed when there is a net repulsive forces between the soil particles. The soils in which dispersed structure is there generally they have a low shear strength as well as low permeability but high compressibility. Going forward next is coarse grained structure. So a coarse grained skeleton is a composite structure which is formed when the soil contains particles of different different types when the amount of bulky cohesion less particles is large compared to fine grained clay particles the bulky grains are in particle to particle contact these particles form a framework or we can say a skeleton the space between the bulky grains is occupied by clay particles known as binders. We can see this in both the pictures there are clay particles which are working as binders. As long as the soil structure is not disturbed a coarse grained skeleton can take heavy loads without much deformations. However, when the structure is disturbed, the load is transferred from coarse grained particles to clay particles which were working as binders till now. And the supporting power and the stability of the soil is considerably reduced then. So we can clearly see that amount of coarse grained particles are greater than amount of clay particles. Even we can say that the clay particles get in between two or multiple coarse grained particles. That is it for coarse grained structure. Next is the clay matrix structure. Clay matrix structure is also a composite structure formed by soils of different different types. In this case the amount of clay particles is very large compared with bulky coarse grained particles. The clay forms a matrix in which coarse grains appear floating without touching one another. The clay matrix structure have almost the same properties as clay. You can see, uh, you must have seen this kind of clay matrix structure in your surroundings. I, I think all of these uh, structures are visually identifiable in your surroundings. By learning this, you also should try and see these kind of structures in your surroundings as well as sight. And the next is shapes of soil particles. The shape of soil particles is a useful soil property in case of coarse grained soils. The shapes of soil particles affect 
the engineering behavior of coarse grained soils the shape of grains in a coarse grained soil can be examined with naked eyes whereas fine grained soils require microscopic examination though there is no universally accepted grain shape classification the grain shapes may be classified as bulky grains flaky grains and needle shaped grains talking about bulky grains in case of bulky grains all the dimensions of a grain are more or less the same generally cohesion less soils like sand and gravel have bulky grains generally bulky grains are formed by physical disintegration of rocks soils containing bulky grains behave like a heap of a loose bricks or loose sand such soils can support heavy loads in static conditions however when vibration takes place large settlements can occur in bulky grains the shape of the coarse grain soils can be described in terms of sphericity or angularity as per the equation s is equal to d in suffix e and l divided by capital l where de is equal to equivalent diameter of the soil particle here we are assuming soil particle as a sphere again l is equal to length of the soil particle the particles with a high value of sphericity or we can say more roundness are easy to manipulate in construction and their tendency to fracture is low flaky grains flaky grains or plate shaped grains are the ones in which one dimension of grain namely its thickness is very small as compared to other two dimensions generally cohesive soils like silt and clay have flaky grains soils composed of flaky grains are highly compressible these soils they form easily under static loads like dry leaves or loose papers in a basket subjected to a pressure however such soils are relatively more stable when subjected to vibrations flatness property can be defined as f is equal to b by t here p means breadth of soil particle and t means thickness of the particle needle shaped grains needle shaped grains are the grains in which one dimension of the grain is much larger than the other two dimensions as these resemble needles they are termed needle shaped grains such grains are the characteristic of clay minerals like montmorillonite and kaolinite due to its shape elongation property capital e can be defined as e is equal to capital l by capital b where capital l means length of the soil particle and b means breadth of the soil particle moving forward these are examples of bulky grains flaky grains and needle shaped grains here we can see bulky grains are rounded sub rounded angular and sub angular same way flaky grains we can see that thickness of flaky grain is much lesser than the other two sides in needle shaped grains we can see that other two dimensions are much larger than the one dimension sorry one dimension is much larger than other two dimensions moreover to know soil more there is a texture of soil texture means visual appearance of a material such as fabric or cloth the visual appearance of a soil is called its texture the texture of a soil is reflected largely by the particle size 
shape and gradation. Coarse grain soils such as sands and gravels have a coarse texture, while fine grain soils like silts and clays which are composed of mineral grains tiny and flaky in character are fine textured. In soil engineering, it is only in the case of coarse grain soils that soil texture has a correlation with their engineering properties. Plasticity and consistency become all important when it comes to fine grained soils in which the presence of water affects the mineral grain interaction. However, the textural classification of soil will be dealt in next videos, next chapters. So here I conclude this topic and this video. Thank you.